Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Helpful Lock Picker here, and welcome back to this week's Lock Sport update. This is a fun video series that I like to try to run every single Saturday, and it serves as a great place for me to update the community on anything that I've been working on. It also serves as a great place for the community to update everyone on what they have been working on. I apologize in advance if you hear a loud noise in the background. I have my air conditioner on. I usually have it shut off during the videos, but 90 plus degrees today, and I film upstairs. I don't think I'm going to be able to shut it off for this video, but I just want to say thank you to everyone that was able to make it out this week. It's really great to see Dana Reed in the chat, Mr. Vacuum Brain Bimbo, Rune International, Clayton Howard, and everyone else that's been able to make it out. I just think it's really great for everyone to show all of their support and being able to just keep a good eye on all of the great members of our community and just making sure everyone's trying to do well. I just want to say that it is really great to just share all of these great channels. And what I'm going to do is jump into first the channel that was mentioned to me last week that hasn't made a video in about five months. Now, this is a channel that you're going to be very familiar with, and I'll bring her channel up right here just so you can see, and then I will cut right back to the lock I have in front of me. So the channel is going to be Lock Pickings Gal. And Locks Picking Scal is a really great channel, but as you can see, she hasn't made a video in about five months. What I have in front of me here is going to be a really cool lock that she sent me a little while back, and it's going to be one of those custom pack locks that you've seen a lot of channels do, where they put in a custom order and get their logo put on. So I want to share that with you, just so you can see how dedicated she is to the community, that she is willing to go out of her way to make a really cool lock with her logo on it. So I want to say that that is really cool, and that's definitely something in the top of my collection. I just want to say thank you to Lock Pickings Gal for making that. So what I want to do is let's bring up her channel, and so we can see a little bit more about her, just in case if you are not familiar with her already. So I'm going to bring up her channel again right here. So what I have in front of you here is going to be Lock Pickings Gal's channel. So as you can see, she has about 843 subscribers. She has a really good amount of videos. And one thing I've shared in the past, and I will play a quick clip of it, um, this is one of her most important videos to her, is going to be the video right here about her broken tooth. Um, and long story short, uh, we will watch part of the video. But what happened was she had a broken tooth that led to an infection, which led to um, a severe bloodstream infection and it led to some significant disability for her and Locksport as a whole has been a really great rehabilitation process and it has really helped her recover from this unfortunate um, unplanned event. So what I'm going to do is I will play a quick clip of that so you can see a little bit more of her inspirational story. Lock picking scal. I think my first video should be a little bit about my story. Um, two and a half years ago, I had two strokes. Um, I didn't realize I was having strokes. The only symptom that I had was my words were out of order whenever I would speak. Um, whenever I got to the hospital, um, they weren't even sure what was going on about Three hours later, my whole left side of my body was paralyzed. I don't remember much after that um, until I'd woken up from surgery. The first surgery I had was they, I had to go in the hospital and get my um, mitral valve replaced and Three hours after that, I they took me straight back into surgery and removed all my teeth. What had happened was I had a broken tooth and it almost killed me. The infection went from my broken tooth um, to my mitral valve in my heart. The heart doctor thought he could repair it, but he said it was shredded underneath. 
All right, so thank you for showing your support to Lockpicking Scale. As you can tell, she's had a lot of health challenges in the past on dealing with these um, difficult times. I just really hope that she is doing well at the moment. I'm not exactly sure what is going on with her, but she hasn't made a video in about five months. So I'm just going to wish her well and really hope that she is feeling well. And obviously there's no rush to getting back into the lock sport community if you have priorities at home and in your own health. But I just want to say that a lot of us will say that we are here for you when you come back and we look forward to you returning when you are able to. So what I have brought up here is Lockpicking Gal's channel. If you'd like to check her out and show some support, what you can do is check out in the video description below. And in a little while I'll add up a video card on the top right corner as well. So you'll be able to go straight to her channel and be able to check her out. Every subscription makes such a big difference. It's really nice to be able to show your support to all of these great members of the community. I just want to say I hope you are doing well, and I hope everyone else is doing well in the community. We've had a challenging last year and a half or so, and I just really hope everyone in the community is doing well. So I just want to say that that was really great to be able to share her channel. Thank you to everyone that was able to share her. And I just want to say thank you again for this really awesome walk. I just want to say it is a really cool thing to do, and I do want to make a video on it when I have time. I just am very busy at the moment, but I just want to say that that is a really great gift from her, and I really do appreciate it. So a, another thing that I would like to share this week is going to be a channel that was mentioned in the live stream last week. And this is a channel that a lot of people are going to be familiar with. This channel makes many many videos has about 1500 sometimes we'll even produce three videos in one day which is pretty impressive this channel is going to be no other than Chris Capune I just want to say that it is really great to see Chris Capune starting to reach a milestone of 800 subscribers hopefully it will be at a thousand in no time I just want to say that he just is a guy that certainly is in this for the fun, fun of it really enjoys making his content and just staying active Community. So he's at 783 subscribers. He's at 1,502 videos. There may be another video up by the end of this video. He really does just churn them out pretty quickly, which is pretty cool. Um, I've seen him put up three or four in one day, which is pretty awesome. And I'll say that's some really great work. So here's his really great um, array of videos. As you can see here, he has really been just doing a great job at making these videos. And Certainly, if you want to see a really large library of videos, Chris Capcun is going to be the guy to check out. So what I'm going to do now is, just for the fun of it, it's just too many videos to go through. I'm going to sort by most popular. Let's just see. Let's see, we have a video with 4,000 views from two years ago, and it's number 90, P.O. Box Door with a combination one. So let's see what Chris Capcun was up to about two years ago. And we'll be able to get this video up in just a second. Just going to wait for this to go through. And let's start playing this video for you right now. Hi there, Chris here. This isn't a picking video, but it is um, a cool combination lock. It's an old post office box uh, door. And let's see if I can zoom in. You can see it has numbers A through J. And it's a, I guess, three, three, uh, <laughs> whatever. You have to hit three different spots to get it open. So I'll zoom out and then see if I can go over there and uh, open it with the combination. Well, let's see. Let's try it right about there. Let's see if I can do this without hitting things. Can't really see the camera, but that's okay. So. You want to turn it past A three times to clear it. And 
I think we've done that. And then we go to in between E and F. Okay, and then one time past the next combination, which is HI. And then we just go to the last one, which is AJ. So if you go to AJ, and then you turn this to the left, it opens. Well, look at there. <laughs> There's a little Abus rock, a little Abus silver rock in there. So anyway, this is very cool. Let's see if I can see, bring this in. This is what the mechanism looks like. All right, so thank you for checking out that really quick clip of one of Chris Capune's videos. I want to say that was kind of cool. And I just want to say thank you to Chris Capune for always making your great content. And it's really exciting to see you starting to reach your next milestone rather soon here. So I just want to say thank you to everyone that is able to show Chris your support. It's a really great thing to do. And if you want to check out his channel, I will have it linked up in the video description below. I will make a video card up the top right hand corner at some point. I just want to say that, that is something that is really cool to see his channel start to grow. We have some pretty cool channels right here at the bottom. Um, someone in the chat, I believe, mentioned Chris Arnold hasn't been too active lately. Um, so we might as well click him open right now and see. We haven't seen a video of this in nine months. Um, but I just want to say that these are all some really great channels. I just want to say thank you to everyone that continually shows your support. So one thing I'd like to share was my own milestone that happened yesterday, I believe, is when you take a look at my channel, I just reached 60,000 subscribers. My channel has been growing um, not as fast as it used to. I did have a little hiccup about a year and a half ago where my channel got deleted out of nowhere, just completely blacklisted, deleted, couldn't find a, a touch of it anywhere. I had to send in an appeal. Got really no reason why it was gone. But ever since then, my growth has been about 25% what it used to be. But I am just doing this for fun, and it's really great to see that I finally reached this milestone. I just want to say thank you to everyone that continues to show their support on my channel. I hope to be able to make some more great videos. I'm going to improve upon my lock picking homeschool series, continue to do my update videos, and just really have a fun time making this content. I think it is great and it's such a fun community to be a part of. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that continues to make this community to be a really fun and active place. But I just want to say thank you to everyone for all of your support. Now, one thing that I wanted to do this week that I thought that I might be able to start to incorporate into some of my update videos is going to be something a little bit different. I maybe want to just try to touch upon like a teaching point in each video and going over some stuff that my subscribers have brought up. So I'm just going to cut off right here to just the chat while I set up for a quick second here. And what I'm going to do is answer a subscriber question, hopefully, that I will be able to answer for them. Um, and the question was, what is a binding pen? And what does a binding pen feel like? So my goal is going to be to hopefully do a little quick demonstration on that so that they will be able to see. So what I have brought up here is going to be a schleg lock. I'm going to have my handy leashy tool and I'm going to be able to get that going for you in just a second. So when we take a look at this lock, the first thing I'm going to show you is that it's going to have a pretty interesting key. This is going to be a key that you saw in one of my other videos. It's going to be 818181. So it's certainly going to be high, low, high, low, or low, high, low, high, low, high. It's going to be some really great bidding. Um, but one interesting thing when I do use the Leashy tool is that it sets the zero cuts automatically. So I'm going to just barely need to touch um, all the eight cuts to get this open. 
and so I'm not going to really feel those binding too much, but I'm going to hopefully be able to demonstrate this a little bit here. So when you go through the lock and you just lift up on each individual pen when it is going to be without any tension on it. So we're going to just do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So when you feel that spring to it, that's going to be the key pen pushing against the driver pen, pushing against the spring. So that's going to mean that there is nothing binding up the lock on that point. And there's going to be no set pen. It's just going to be what a pen feels like when it is going to be in the non-binding, non-set position. Now, if you want to know what a set pen kind of feels like, I will show you that right now. So I'm just going to try to quickly pick this lock open. So when you want to know what a set pen feels like, one of the easiest ways to tell is going to be to pick your lock open and then you're going to want to turn it over slightly and then you're going to just feel what those key pens feel like um, when there's nothing on them. They're going to just kind of feel kind of floppy. So let's see, hopefully we just need to set four here. Let's see. Just bear in mind with me, this is just a super awkward angle. I'm not like directly next to the lock at all here. So let's just see if we can get this lock pick open here. Okay, so six is now picked. I think we're just on four. Okay, so now we are open. So when you have the pen set above it right here and the key pin below it, it's sort of like separated from the driver pen. And when the key pin set, it's just going to feel like this when you are going through it now, it's just going to feel floppy because there's no spring pressure on it. It's just sort of disconnected from the driver pin and the spring. So that's kind of what that's going to feel like. Now when you're trying to feel a binding pin, so you're going to put some tension on your lock. It's not going to feel floppy. It's not going to feel springy. It's going to feel like there's some resistance against it. Now, if I were to overset the pen, which I'll just do right here, I'm going to lift up in one. I'm going to feel that the pen just feels lost in high set and then immovable. So that's going to be the overset position. But let's go back through this lock one more time and let's just try to pick it and feel a binding pen. So putting some moderate tension since it's all standard pens. Get like a, the smallest ever click on one, um, but I really don't have to lift it that high. I'm going to do two. I'm really feeling a lot of pressure as I'm pushing down here. I really feel like it's binding, binding, binding. And then I get that shear line click there. Now three, binding, really just minimal lift. Got a really distinct click. Now this one feels springy. It is not binding in four, five. Just barely need to touch five. Got just the most minimal lift and got it set six binding it's really a lot of pressure feel it feel it feel it got that shear line click hopefully we went up all the way all the way and we can go through the lock again that feels floppy and loose a little hard to feel just because of the way this tool lifts it up two it was very floppy under there three floppy but hard to feel because of the way the tool is now four binding 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 and we got the lock opened up so hopefully that will help anyone with any questions on what a set pen feels like. Sort of went through all of the pen states just there and hopefully that will help clear up anything. But I just want to say thank you to everyone that made it out this week. I hope that if I do a little educational tidbit in some of these videos that will be helpful to everyone. I just want to say thank you to everyone that helped make it out this week. Now if you have any questions or suggestions at all or anything I recommend that you leave them in the comment section below. Just a really great thing to do, and I really enjoy being able to look through everyone's questions. Also, if you have anything that you'd like to share, that you'd like to see next week, I would really love to see that in the comment section below, because that is where I look first, and that's a really great way to be able to share any of your great successes, any of your questions, or anything that you would like to see, 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 see shared for next week. But I just want to say that this is just such a fun video series to do. And I just want to say thank you to everyone that was able to make it out. 
on this Saturday. Now, I just want to say thank you so much for checking out this video. Now, if you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more content like it, please subscribe. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I cannot wait to see you in the next one, and I look forward to checking out everyone's videos that they make, and really hope everyone has a great weekend. Just hope everyone stays safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video.